things that I thought that belonged to the humanity. And in that moment, I realized that I was losing a little bit my memory. So I started writing because I wanted to honor the teacher and my father for saving my life. And I thought that without their help, in a way, I could have never been here. And I thought that their story were, was worth telling because I felt in the Western world, especially where in Europe, and especially here, there's a side of the story of the conflict that was never heard, was never told. And I felt that through storytelling, I was capable of surviving. Uh, I arrived at the orphanage when I was five, and my sister was four, and she was crying the whole time. And I couldn't, I became her mother at that moment because my mother was dead. So the only way for me to imagine another world was to tell stories. The only way for me to put her to bed and to calm her was to tell her stories. In that moment, I became a writer. But I never thought that my voice would be heard in this room. And uh, I always thought that the G Hall was a place where everybody is equal. All nations are treated in an equal way. I really was hoping that my story would be heard my, one day here, but I never thought that the Jewish man will be the guy who will be telling, that will be telling my story. So I'm really proud of this. Really proud of the guy that made my story, made me heal myself with my past, made me, in a way, feel that all of that, everything that I went through was worth putting in writing. And it became a message that promotes actual education and in my way, peace. But I really think that if there's heroes in this room, they are the teacher at that school.